Hello crafty friends, it's Susie Chocolate here from Susie Chocolate Crafts. Today I'm going to be making a quick project for you. I'm going to be making this little box. Uh, I've been asked to make some wedding favour boxes for a friend's wedding. I'm in the process of just finding out some different styles and so I can provide them to her so she can have a look and see which one she likes the best. I've got to make over a hundred and so <laughs> uh, I want something that is fairly quick. So these two are dies. I'm going to scan this one in because I think that I can make a, a FCM or an SVG file with that one. That is really nice. I like that. This is more of a little pillar box as you can see the ends just fold in and that i'll be able to scan that one as well i then remembered that this is in the inbuilt files in our scan and cut machines i know it's in the sdx i'm hoping it's in the cm i still haven't been able to get my cm machine mended so i i can't see anything on the screen and so i can't check to see if it's on cm but if Somebody could check for me and see if it is in the inbuilt designs. As we now go, I'll show you where it is and you can have a look. And if it's in your CM machine, please just say in the comments for me. That would be brilliant. Anyway, this is going to be super easy because it is no glue, no tape. You just need some card and you scan and cut machine. And then it folds. Uh, it just folds up. And so I'm just going to pop them away back there and show you it's got a little crown on the top which i think is really super can you see that um and yeah it just it just opens like this so it's like that it's got some perforated score marks around the bottom you can see mine's been standing in the sunshine i made this one ages ago um it's just been on display in my craft room yeah, so you can see that there's a perforated cut line there and then the machine just cuts the whole thing out and then you just fold the crowns in, hold that like that and then they pop through that little hole. Like that. And then that one goes over the top and there we are. That is too big for the favour box, so I'm going to scale it down. Currently, it cuts on a piece of 12-inch card, which I'm going to do today. I will cut it on some 12-inch so you can see it. But I'm also going to scale it down to an A4 size for UK size. I think letter size is the US equivalent to an A4 piece of paper, which is 8 and a quarter by 11 and 3 quarters. Um, and so the box will actually measure um, about eight by nine inches. This one measures 12 by 13. And so plan is to scale that down to fit a piece of uh, Avil paper and show you how to make this on some different card stocks. So without further ado, let's get on. I've got my machine on and uh, I've got my mat out. So I've got my dust cover on here. So always keep this sheet over your sticky mats when you're not using them so that dust doesn't um, adhere to the to your stickiness. Now I think I've been a bit lazy and it looks like I've put this away without giving it a bit of a clean because it seemed to have a lot of fibres on it. Hold that up for a moment. I'm quickly just going to run my spatula over and get rid of all of the fibres that I've left behind and brush them off. Still very sticky from when I restuck it a couple of weeks ago, and so I'm just going to give that a shake. That looks better yeah so just check that uh, you haven't got any extra paper fibers left on you can also give that wipe with a non-alcohol baby wipe just to help wipe the um, fibers off so i'm gonna use this today it's called life is short eat dessert first <laughs> i'm all with that so i'm going to use this lovely green and gold foiled card so I'm just going to pop that onto my mat 
and just rub, rub it down to make sure that it's nice and adhered. And then I'll rub this bit as the paper card starts to feed into the machine. So make sure it's right at the at the top edge and it's not covering up your registration marks. And now I'm going to move you up to the screen so you can see where to find the design. And now we're at the machine. So this is how your machine will turn on and get a similar screen to this. So you just tap the screen, um, set the carriage, and then we're going to go into patterns today. Hopefully you've had a look through all of these different patterns that are available so you can see the variety because there is a huge variety of uh, like borders and um, alphabet letters and different fonts. This is ready-made sentiments. These are some frames. Um, they are shapes and this is where all the different, like dies are really, what you would have as a die. And so we're going to go into there. And then we, as you can see, here's a variety of all the things that are available. We're going to hit the key and go right down to the bottom. And then here is this little box that we're going to make. There's two different options. One of them has a cutout front and one of them doesn't. So I'm going to do the one that doesn't. This is how it starts off. And so the height is 9.44 inches. That takes up a whole square of your 12 by 12 inch mat. I'm going to cut it at this size. And so you can just see what would happen if you didn't, um, didn't change anything. It will cut the size of the purple box that I've already showed you. And so we're just going to set that onto the mat. And there we are. You can see where it's going to cut on your, on your mat. If you want to say OK to that. We're going to select cut. Select cut. If you um, want to do a test to make sure your blade is at the right depth on a CM machine, then you can go ahead and do your test. But if you're using a cardstock that you've used a lot and you know what numbers they should be on, then go ahead. I'm going to hit the start button. Ah, oh, it's saying my mat is not loaded. Oh, I like this machine because it does give us lots of um, tips and tricks. We can't go wrong. We just follow what's on the screen. That's now feeding in. And then we can set it to cut and then go around the other side because I just want to make sure that this bottom half of my card is stuck on nicely. And, and then we're going to hit start. So that's going to feed my paper in. And so I'm just going to rub my little spatula all over here. My cards. Um, let me just move this down so that you can see what's going on. It's now doing the perforated line. While it's doing that, I'd just like to take the opportunity to give everyone a huge thank you for subscribing to my channel. I've now got over 200 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. I am so thankful for everybody who has subscribed or who has shared with a friend. My next goal is 500. And so if you like the projects that I'm doing, the box that I'm making here, or if you've watched the fussy cutting ones, making the sentiments and shadow layers or cutting the digital, uh, um, images out then please share my channel um, to help me get up to that 500 you are absolutely amazing and if you haven't already subscribed hit that button now and put on the bell so that you make sure that you get a notification every time that I put a new tutorial out and so it looks like we're now going around the edge of this little box here it's now almost finished I'm gonna zoom out a little bit we have now cut the box and there it is. So just peel your out of paper off. Um, oops, give it a little hug. You've got a nice sticky mat. 
I'll clean that in a minute. I'm just going to take my mat out and get that out of the way. Shut this up. Just going to show you how easy this is to do. And you can use this little spatula to do your crease. So it's got the little perforations along the bottom, which we're just going to, so we're just going to fold the perforations. So you might be able to see there, I've got a white core in this, so you can see where the perforations are. I'm not keen on that. And so I need to get a solid core card, I think. But it's at the bottom, so, you know, is anybody going to see it? I probably don't think they are, actually, are they? And there you could put your little gift in there. That will take quite a good size gift. Um, a ring, box of earrings, lots of sweeties, um, whatever. Whatever you want, really. It's, it's helpful if you put your crowns together and just push down push it down to get the shape the rounded shape in the box i think that would probably help getting this over yeah that's how you do it that's how you do it and so let's do that so there we are there's our perfect little gift box made in a few minutes so I hope you're all going to have a go at that try your machine out if you haven't already and that is a brilliant thing to be able to do make that to, to hold a nice gift for somebody for a birthday or anniversary or or just a thank you gift or, or you know you're a special person gift so now I'm going to go on and do the adjustment to make this onto a letter size so you can see what size I cut it down to and then you'll be able to do exactly the same for an A4 sheet of paper or letter size in the US. I'm just going to uh, get my A4 card and I'll be back. I've got an A4 piece of white card on my mat and we're back up at the control screen here. This is the screen that you finished on after we cut the box in the larger size. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to go into the wrench and we're going to change the cut area to the size of my A4 piece of card, which is eight and a quarter wide. And so I'm just going to go a little bit smaller than that because the cutting area red line here doesn't extend right to the very edge. And so I'm going to try and get that to eight. So 7.99, that's going to be the closest, but that's fine. Um, I haven't got to worry about the width because my paper goes right the way across here. And I know that the box is only going to be the same width, eight inches wide. So I don't need to worry about that. But if you're using a smaller piece of paper, obviously you can change your the width as well. And so I'm going to say OK <clears throat> and OK. And then we're going to go into Edit and Object Edit. And then we're going to change the size of the box. So we're just going to reduce because at the moment you can see the red outline of the cutting file is extending into the area that I haven't got any card. And so we're going to make this smaller so that we can fit it so move that up now to the corner so now we can make it a bit bigger so that we can come right the way down so i'm hoping that we can get to almost eight inches Is that, yeah that's right up in the corner make sure it's right up in the top hand left hand corners um And it's looking like that is going to be almost as far as I can go um, to make sure that I don't extend outside of the pattern. So that's 7.93. Um, so let's say, OK, 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 and OK, 
And then we're going to select cut. And I'm going to set it to cut and move the camera down onto the card. But I am going to fast forward through this because you don't need to see it cut again. So the uh, pattern has cut and peel that off. So it was just within the width of the card. So that was superb. Did that nicely. So you possibly could have gone to eight inches because there is a little bit extra there, but depending on how fine you want to cut it. <laughs> and so I'm just going to take my mat out. And there we are. So that's the size that it would cut as a maximum so should start folding so just fold the bottom in along the score lines and get the little crowns together and as i said in the making the other one it's just get the crowns and then push it down to make a little bit of your shape and then it makes it much easier to then get the um, crowns inside these little slits. It needs to go right inside, push it down again, push it down again. And match them up yeah. Oops. and it does lock in place if you don't let it pop back up there we are and so that took two minutes to cut probably a, a minute or so just to change the size and look at that beautiful little box i'm just going to compare that to the size of the oh it is quite a bit bigger than that one and quite a bit smaller than that one and so you can obviously you can cut this down to any size that you want so you could cut it down to this size without a problem i've put a little tag on here which is easy enough to do you can make a little tag and just pop it on with a little piece of cord I'm going to just see if I can make a layer to fit on the top of this one so that if you wanted to decorate the outside then we could decorate the outside and so I'm going to give that a shot. I'll do that off camera and then I will come back and let you know what I did. Okay so I've worked it out, I've worked out that on the A4 piece of card, so the 7.93 inch one, the largest offset that we can do on that size is a minus 0.05 as you can see on the screen there. I'm just going to show you what it did which is fascinating actually how it cut it and then I will show you how we get to that and um, so that you can cut it yourself. It makes a layer for the outside of the box that I've just made and I'll also work out what the um, best size is for the larger one that i did um at the very beginning and so this is how it's cut up in a good spot there yeah that looks pretty good um yeah i've had a little look at it to see what it did and it's quite fascinating i'm just gonna take my mat out <clears throat> and then i will bring it up to the camera so you can see so the little crown i knew that wouldn't cut because that is that's going to be far too tiny so i'm not even going to try that but what it did is it extended the um, perforated line and actually cut it right the way through and so we've got one two three four sections and a bottom and as you can see all these little bits here it cut little tiny squares all the way around so that it separated the uh, the sections and so now what we could do is um, if we've got that, the sun is now shining. So it's oh, changing my light. 
Um, so I'm going to have to lay that down, I think. But uh, what we can now do is we can lay that on there as a, just a little inset. So we've got a lovely little white border all the way around the black. And then on the, the sides, this hole here is uh, this hole here is cut larger and so it goes around that little cut hole really nicely doesn't that look fab and then the bottom the bottom does exactly the same so the bottom is slight slightly smaller as well and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these all on and then I'm going to show you what the actual finished item looks like. But I'm really pleased with the way that that worked. It has got a tiny little perforated edge and if you don't like that, you can just um, trim that off with your scissors or your guillotine. And so, yeah, I'm just going to stick all that on and then I'll come back and show you what it what it actually looks like. And I'll sort the sunshine out. So here it is, and that's worked really, really well. I have just glued it on with some Kalal glue. You can use any sort of glue that you like. Put this extra layer on if you choose to do it. And um, just opening up the little box. I've also found actually that there's a, um, a score line here at the bottom of the crown, which makes it much easier if you just, if you bend those back like bend those back like that then it makes it that much easier to then get that nice bend in there once you've stuck it all down it look yeah i think it looks really smart in black and white actually i did the blacks because it was going to be the best color to for me to show you that there is a separation in the in the offset that we've done but i'm really really chuffed with that so bend your score line crown down pop your little crowns together give it a nice bend because now you've got an extra layer on here it is that much stiffer and then fold your side up and put the side of the crown through your um, little cut hole and bring it over and line them up nicely so that you give it a little push down again and then put this one through the, the side of the crown through this little slit and then lock it over and then it locks in place and isn't that just beautiful i love it i'm really really pleased with that and if you wanted to put a sentiment on obviously you could um but let me just show you quickly how we're going to do the offset and so I'm just going to pop you back up onto the control screen. So this is what your screen would have looked like after you've cut the smaller box. What we're going to do is we're going to press the back arrow and then we're going to go into edit and then object edit. And then in here you have a variety of things that you can do going to focus on that little circle um, in the center there which is the offset button and you can either increase the size of your pattern or you can decrease the size of your pattern and so at the moment it's starting off giving you default of a 0 0.06 out, uh, offset so that makes your pattern bigger and so we're going to go down on the minus button until we get to 0 0.5. I've tried all sorts of um, different offsets in the minus and 
this is the uh, smallest that we can go to and so minus five if you try minus six it won't do it because obviously it's cutting lots of things true small and so min not minus 0 0.05 is the maximum we can go on this size of 7.93 if you cut it on a different size then obviously you're going to have to work that out for yourself by just doing a trial and error you will know when it has done it because i'll show you how, how you'll know and so we've that's the um, offset minus that we want to have. So we're going to say, OK, that will now process that. And if you've been successful, you will now have two layers. And so this one here is your what I'm moving about on the top is the layer that you've already cut. And underneath is your offset. And if you look closely, I'm going to try and zoom in on this for you. But if you look closely, you can see that the crown has much bigger holes in and you can see this little um, squares that is going to cut out around the centre um, so that it actually detaches. You can also see there's some tiny little squares along the bottom of the crown where it's going to de detach the sections for the layer. And so we now need to delete this top layer because obviously we've already cut it. And so we're going to say OK. Then with this one highlighted with the orange around this layer so the one that you can move you're going to bin so okay to delete the selected data yes so now what you've got left is your smaller minus 0.05 offset layer and so that's the one then you want to cut so you would then say okay and okay and select that you want to cut it Put your other colour paper on or card onto your mat and either do your test cut if you're on a CM or change your blade depth if it's uh, a different um, depth of paper or leave it as it is if it's exactly the same. And then you'd hit start and do your cut and then you would then end up with what uh, you've already seen when I started this little bit with the black card. And so that's how you would do it on there. If you watch to the very end, I will let you know what the offset layer would be for the apple. Um, no, that's not the one we cut today. That's the one I showed you. So this, sorry about the sunshine, but we can't complain about it. It's been freezing day to day. We were minus seven overnight here on the North Norfolk coast in, in England. Um, but uh, yeah, this one here. Uh, which was the larger, which was 9.44, if I remember correctly. I will just work out what the maximum minus offsets um, that you can do on this size as well. And so I'll pop that up on the screen in a second. Um, but yeah, so I'm really chuffed with um, what we've managed to, um, to cut there today. Let's drop you down again so that we can have a little look at what all that we've done. And so you've learnt um, how to cut the box. Really simple. Best thing you could ever try and have a go at because you've got a product in about five minutes. And that is such an amazing thing to be able to do with your machine. So hope I've given you some inspiration and some ideas of how you can start using your machine. And the um, different variety of boxes, the different sizes, you can change it to whatever size you want. You can do one layer or two layer. Uh, you've learned it today and um, hopefully you will give it a go and let me know how you get on i really really would love to know i've got a facebook group uh if uh, any of you would be interested in popping your finished designs on there so that uh, i could have a look it's susie chocolate crafts on facebook uh have a search for that or i'll pop a link in the description box so that's it for today and just want to say thank you thank you again for everybody who is subscribing and if you haven't already subscribed i would really love you to if you've enjoyed what you've seen today of course uh, all the things that you're seeing in my scan and cut tutorials please take the opportunity to share in any scan and cut groups that you're, you're in or 
uh, with any of your friends who you know uh, might just benefit from a little bit of help getting started on the scan and cut. And so that's it for today, guys. Uh, thank you very, very much. See you again soon. Bye.